Welcome to the 2023-2024 season recap for Vesto Winter Cheer. This season, the team started strong with a first place win and continued to place top three at all of their competitions. Stay tuned for highlights, interviews, and more. Go Bears! Um, I'm Aaron Schultz, and I coach uh, Vestal Varsity Cheerleading. My name's Jessica Yetzko. I am a junior, and I'm a main base. Hi, I'm Mackenzie. I'm a varsity cheerleader. I'm a main base, tumbler, and captain. Um, I definitely knew we were going to be a growing year because last year we graduated, I think, eight or nine seniors. And so with most of my uh, varsity team being new to varsity, I figured it's a growing year, they're going to figure it out, but they're actually like pulling through and like doing really good and accomplishing a lot of goals that we've had. And like this past weekend, we um, did really well. And the girls actually learned a whole new like basket toss uh, the week before, and then they competed it. So for them to do something that is um, a really hard basket toss in basically like a week span and then go out and show everybody and compete it successfully, I was really excited for them. Goals are definitely to up our difficulty and our execution on our stunts and tumbling and overall to build a better bond. Um, I think our biggest goal for the season is to work on our confidence and improve our technique just to make sure we can perform the best routine we have possible a very fulfilling season, a successful season, which we've really had because we came into the season with a lot of great athletes and we've continued just up the talent as we've moved through the season. like full circle so I really I don't know if I would want to coach at another place because like Gannon he's a super supportive athletic director I feel like all the other administration is super supportive um, if I ever need anything like I'm able to voice my needs and be heard and I think that that's some that's a rare commodity to have um, but like it's definitely like, I love knowing like the traditions and stuff, so I feel like just being able to like, carry on some of the traditions is the cool thing. Like, we do stomp line at, like, football games. So that's something that uh, Coach Ewing actually said that she, when she was the varsity coach a while back, they came up with that, like, I think, like, 10 years, 15 years ago. So, like, just to carry on one little thing like that and to also incorporate just different little... Um, traditions like the first cheer that I teach them is the first sideline I've ever learned which is just like where they just clap B-E-S-T-A-L and that's also the last one that they ever do in the program so I think just having things go full circle like that is just a really cool opportunity to have. Part of just not only winter cheer but cheer in general you always have like almost a family to surround you and no matter what's going on you could always find an escape in cheer and that just the program is so welcoming and no matter your skill level, there's always like a place for you in the program. Um, to be a part of Vestal, it's like being a part of a family and um, you know, being like sisters with your teammates. Um, it, to me, it's a family, especially with a cheer team. I feel like I can get away from all anxieties or problems I have when I'm with them. So they have done team bonding, um, and I know it's kind of funny, but we make like TikToks, like just joking around. Um, so the girls have a lot of fun with those. Um, I have them bring me ideas for that, and then usually I'm like, okay, whatever, if you want to do it. Sometimes I'll veto it, but um, so that's how we use like kind of social media as like some team bonding stuff. Um, but like we just volunteered at the uh, Broom County Human Society on Martin Luther King Day. And just having the girls all three levels there 
have to work together. Like we let them do thigh stands, which are like where they're literally standing on, um, I just call it like their pocket. So they're standing on the thigh and reaching up and washing the walls and just like giving back to the community while building like, okay, teamwork, I have to do this, you can do this. Um, just little things like that help. And just the overall, like we do this thing, it's a stunt circle. So one stunt group goes in the middle and the whole team, the rest of the team stands around them and literally just cheering them on, just screaming like while the music is playing. So the girls that are in the middle are doing their whole stunt sequence. It's actually kind of cool to watch because they'll be in the circle and if there's an extra person that has to pop in, they'll pop in, pop out, they'll move around and then they go and do that and I feel like that really creates a sense of camarader camaraderie and um, it just helps out like but just supporting each other so more team bonding this season just kind of going over to each other's houses like kind of meeting before competitions and doing stuff to just kind of calm the nerves that any of us might have before we go on and we've also really been sticking to the motto do it for each other and that kind of just pushes us that no matter how we're feeling that day, like we know we have someone to do it for if we can't do it for ourselves. Do team bonding and then just the habitat bond, we have practice almost every day. So just being together for two, three hours every single day definitely helps us work together and create a tight bond. So to create a tight bond, we do a lot of team bonding and we have a lot of practices together. We spend a lot of time during the week together and overall it really builds up like our bond with each other.